is the bobsled exactly? Is it the, it's, and I, I don't understand. I, you guys are ladies. It's you, probably from like the wall to here. Okay. I have it six okay. Feet. So there, for the purposes of radio, from the wall to here. here <laughs> the, uh, well, then you guys like, can pick a distance. Uh, that's right. I'm just showing you. It's, well, I would prefer if uh, Tony uh, were to lie on the floor on his stomach. And you guys. Can you like yeah. one and a half Tonys? <laughs> it's about one, one and a half, half Tonys. Tonys. Okay. All right, <laughs> perfect. Oh, let's watch over. It's not making me uncomfortable at all. The way they're looking at it. Right one and a quarter one Tonys. Quarter Tonys. <laughs> XL mornings, ten after eight. The weather today pretty soggy, and then cooling tonight. Your weather's for Lifetime Tax Services in Riverview, trusted for twenty-two years to find your maximum refund. So, we have special guests in the studio. Olympic gold medalist from the Vancouver 2010 Games, Kaylee Humphreys and Heather Moyes. Thank you very much for coming in today. They Thank was. you for having us. It's our pleasure. Appreciate it. Uh, I imagine every media bonehead wants to wear your gold medal, and you guys let us do that. It's okay. You can adjust can the mic turn if you want. It? Yeah, sure. So, that I can see you guys. so, thank you for uh, letting us in. Everybody probably says the same thing. Oh, it's so heavy. And, or... Uh, Depending on the level of boneheaded, uh, did somebody run over it? Because it's a it's a special design. Right? Okay. It is, yeah. And actually, beforehand, I personally knew not very much about it. And it was a 14-year-old kid that did a school class project assignment on yeah, why it's all bumpy, what it's made from, what's real gold oh, and not, nice. everything about it. I learned from one of my neighbors down the street. Oh, that's fantastic. Even though it does say it on the little thing that they gave us in the pouch. <laughs> I didn't get anything on my coach. I'm scared. <laughs> well, you're acting just oh, like Scotty. About the design, but not about the metal itself. So, you know. <laughs> I didn't read that thing on the scarf. <laughs> the, I, I need to read that thing on the scarf properly. How fast can you, wrong. you guys, when you guys take off, how fast are you going? What's the... Uh, you, and do you have to train a special way because you have to run fast and <laughs> bent over. And that must really suck. That must be really hard, right? Is that your deal? That's your whole uh, deal, or that's not the whole deal. But that is, that's <laughs> that's a portion of it. Yeah, it's uh, it's you're not completely bent over. It, it would be a lot harder doing skeleton because then you're actually pushing oh, yeah. something that's okay. flat on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, for us, it's you know you're just bent over a little bit, pushing. It's like pushing a car, really. Well, I was going to ask you about that. Do the neighbors ask you a lot of times? I'm stuck in the driveway. Can you? Push my car out? I have had to push a couple, but they didn't actually know that I was a bobsledder. It was oh, just someone really? stopped on the road. <laughs> it was afterwards they're driving down the road. Well, wow, she should Were be they, in bobsledder. She looked really familiar. <laughs> she laid hands on the car and we sh shot through the intersection. It was incredible. <laughs> okay. So you guys are on this big tour. You're on the Olympic uh, Hall of Fame tour of Atlantic Canada. Uh, you have final stop here in Moncton for our big Olympic weekend. This is such a big deal for the people of our city. It's really terrific for you to come. And yes. You're having a good time, though. I was looking at your Twitter. You, you're tweeting pictures of buffets and other Olympians who have <laughs> yeah, bogged delicious. themselves in the heads with their medals. There, were, there have been some injuries on tour. Yeah, we've, we've had a great tour so far. We've been all over the Atlantic provinces. A lot of it's brand new for almost all of us. None of us had really ever been to Newfoundland before, so it's been it's been an awesome tour. And the nine athletes that they that they initially recruit or that they recruited that they have, Our they've got a lot team. more coming for this weekend. So it'll be it'll be a great show. But the nine of us that have been traveling around. We've had an amazing time and amazing experiences from the Terry Fox Mile Zero to visiting children's hospitals to the military. Halifax. Yeah military bases so it's been just as much fun for us and we're just excited for this weekend and thank you Moncton and everybody for for making it so special for us Woo! <laughs> you guys are part of the big special presentation for the school kids later on this morning at yeah, the Moncton Coliseum. Great. Yeah, my 11 year old's gonna go to that. They've been Absolutely. talking about it all week. Yeah, that's exciting. That's great for the kids. Now do you advise, like, I mean it's obviously you're an inspiration, right? Let's say there is a kid who is slightly overweight, maybe 40 years old, and still is looking at... Shopping in the Husky Boys department. Shopping in the yeah. at, uh, sellers. We don't, you judge. Know, we don't judge. Fan don't of judge. Uh, Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirts. And he wants to get in shape. Uh, do, how, would you, uh, what, how would you inspire that gentleman? That, I mentioned he was handsome, too. I thought, are we talking about a boy? A 40-year-old man child. Boy. <laughs> man child. So what kind of a message do you give to the, the kids, uh, for real now? The, the, the kids see you and think anything's possible, right? Definitely. And again, to the 40-year-old man child, just the same as we would to any other child. It, um, 
It really, I mean, dreams can happen at any point, and having a goal and working towards that goal at any point or any stage in your life, 40 years old or you're eight, it really doesn't matter what the goal is, whether it's to get better grades, to learn a musical instrument, to get more physically fit, anything whatsoever. Um, just start. I wasn't 40, but I didn't start bobsledding until I was 27. Wow, that's, so, that's nice. late, right? That's, yeah. That would be late for <laughs> That's old, <laughs> is what you're saying. So, uh, what do, when you're training, <laughs> I mean, once you win a gold, I don't know if it gets easier to get out of bed in the morning, but how, what gets you, when you're having those days where you don't want to get up at whatever time you guys get up to train and stuff, what, what do you do? What, how do you motivate yourself? For me, it's just I will suddenly think about my competition. And I'll be like, oh shoot, they're for sure at the gym right now. And then I'll just drag myself out of bed and go. And it's the same with even at the gym or at the track, wanting to do that last, that last sprint or that last set. And you just think of your competition and you're like, oh my gosh, if we don't win gold, then I'll just be thinking that it's because of this one day that I oh, missed. Oh boy. So you just think it's just no regrets. You just make sure that you're looking at this going, will I regret this later? And if you will, then, you know, what's more worth it, that extra hour of sleep or losing out on a gold medal? Yeah. We know what it's like now, and we know how hard you have to work, <laughs> how how much sacrifice it takes. And unfortunately, getting up at ungodly hours and, and working really hard Doing is, radio interviews. is part of the sacrifice that we have to do. And um, This is a terrible time of day. We'll admit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love this part. This is our favorite part. This is good. But no, it, um, it's just part of it. And like Heather said, I mean, your competition... And the Germans, you know, are up in the gym every single day. And we have to be too in order to win. And it's going to be a lot harder not being at a home Olympics. We won't have the pre-preparation. We won't have the time. No one's going to speak English. So for us, we're going to look at it like it's a lot harder. It's going to be a lot more work. And we're going to have to put the time and energy in. We Everybody deserves it. So. Billions of people will see you in spandex on television. <laughs> but that's the only reason to ask you. That would be, <laughs> that's that's that would Do be one more index. squat, make your butt look good. <laughs> Tons of people are going to see my, this. My, my, my. <laughs> oh, I had, a, yeah, I had a question too. I see that skeleton guy who hogged all the media with his. He was drinking a pitcher of beer. Hogged all the media drink. Do you guys drink? I imagine you guys drink beer too, right? Is that. We're Canadian. Yeah, okay. So we got some XL96 koozies for oh, you there. Yeah. They keep oh, your can cold. Excellent. You can put vitamin water in them too, or vitamin hide, water, hide things in a vitamin water bottle. I'm going to stick my tea in it right now. Yeah. Is that okay? Oh, good yeah, idea. It'll keep your tea you warm. Water. It'll keep your beer cold. Perfect. Yeah. My water cold. The Canadian koozie. Yeah. yeah. This perfect. Is perfect. Thank perfect. you. For all temperature. Well, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> in. Won a gold medal, and they're like a beer cozy. <laughs> Listen, Thanks they're well trained in being generous with compliments. It's true. Okay. And if the man child would just turn his uniform into spandex, then that would be a motivation in itself. <laughs> yes, I could go talk to the schools. I'm sure. Uh, can I ask you? Well, I know you guys have to run. You have another interview. I just want to, uh, and I don't know if it's a trade secret or whatever you call it, but when you're getting prepared to compete. Do you picture something at the bottom or what how do you what do you picture at the bottom of your run? Do you know what I mean? Like is it we're done? Well, when you're getting ready to compete, do you automatically I assume you're going through the whole run in your mind. Yes. And then what's at the bottom? Um nothing, actually. <laughs> really? I I have to do a lot of mental preparation for bobsleigh and because you only get roughly two runs per day and not very many runs per week, you get six runs, two race runs per week. The more I can run through it in my head, whether I'm in bed sleeping or doing anything else, the better and the greater chance and the more times I've gone down the track. Right. So it's better. But we actually don't focus on an end result ah. because uh, we know and we're confident that if we do everything possible at the start, blast it at the start, if I drive the best that I can possibly drive and focus on that, the time and the end result will be there. So a lot of what we concentrate on is the beginning and the middle and crossing the finish line, whatever happened will happen. But it's we just, trust it's just all the pieces. It'd be like saying, yeah, I want to get a start record. You know, that we want to get a start record. Well, everybody wants to get a start record. And so if everybody has the same goal, then, you know, it's just, it's, it's not going to work. So you seriously have to break it down into all the pieces that you need to execute. So we kind the, of did that. Yeah, the important ones yeah. and focus on those. Well, that's yeah. fantastic. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> you must get that a lot. So is your Ninja Turtle t-shirt. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Olympic gold medalists Heather Moyce and Kaylee Humphreys here for Moncton's Olympic weekend for the Olympic Hall of Fame induction ceremonies uh, this weekend. And someday that could be you in the Hall of Fame there too, right? We hope so. 
We yeah. really do. Where, where to next, uh, Olympics-wise? Where, where's the next Winter Olympics? Sochi, Russia in 2014. Oh my gosh. You yeah. guys right. going to be there? That is my plan and my goal, so I, I fully plan to be there. And you just medaled at the, at the World Championships, correct? Am I, yeah. am I right? We did, yes, a third place, and, so. and we're really happy with that. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Best of luck to you. Thanks very much for coming in. Perfect. Thanks for having us. All right. We have to do a break.